Hello gamers and welcome back to another random installment of one of my videos. Today I'm going to be making a video on something I should have made a video on a long time ago and that is how to level your character from 0 to 50. Since the release of Necrom is here and also I've been helping a lot of people level new characters recently, I figured I'd just go ahead and make a video covering my personal method that I personally use to level my characters from 0 to 50, okay? I have quite a bit of experience starting a new character considering I've started over on three different servers and I was a smurf at one point. So take this from me when I'm saying this is the method that I personally use and I find it to be very effective. I'm going to be using this to level up my Arcanist and any future characters that I'm going to be making. And this video is aimed at the solo player who doesn't have any good friends to carry them through Black Rose Prison and doesn't want to have to try and grind through it themselves. I know a lot of people have their own methods of leveling up from 0 to 50, but this is my personal method and I really want to share it with you guys because it works for me and hopefully it can work for some of you. I have a Discord, uh, link is in the description, if you want to send memes back and forth, or you just want to spam emojis with me, come join the Discord, or, you know, for other reasons, just join the Discord, please. Thank you. And yeah, uh, let's, uh, let's get into it. Two things that I would like to mention before we actually get started is, one, you should have some training gear on you. I'd recommend running Heartland Conquer and Wretched Vitality, seeing as power leveling gives you plenty of damage, so... All you gotta worry about is your sustain and your ability to level at a reasonable rate. I would do it in increments of 20, so you start at level 10, then you go to level 30, and then level 30 will carry you all the way to 50, so that is how I would do it with my armor personally. If you don't have access to this, um, it could be a little bit slower and a little bit more rough, but ask around. I'm sure you'll find somebody to craft you something, and listen, if you need some crafted gear, just uh, join the Discord. Join the Discord. Next would be that you should have Greymore for this, at least the starting strategy. Greymore and having that and access to solitude makes this really really easy you'll see why in a minute but if you don't have access to graymore um just go and find uh, your main city and i guess that'll work too but yeah um let's get started so the first thing that you're going to want to do after you've created your thing or whatever it is that you've made is you're going to skip the tutorial. And this assumes that you already have Greymore as well because uh, that's what we use to uh, well, listen. So once you get into the game, the first thing that I normally do is I buy each of the skills from each of the class skill trees so I can go ahead and slot them on my bar so they can go ahead and start leveling each of those skill lines. Okay, so yeah, once I've done that. Next thing I do is I go to my settings, and then I adjust my settings for the character. So if you guys want an in-depth video on settings and what I personally run for my settings, uh, just tell me and let me know, and um, I can do that. Next, what I do is I establish my champion points. I normally just go ahead and dump all my champion points into movement speed so I can get around the map faster and, you know, speed up this entire process. I don't ever put anything into damage because I just don't really care about doing that CP stuff right away, so yeah. After you've established your CP, next you want to go into your inventory and look for this crate thing, and then you want to open it. And what I normally do here is I just equip a weapon that I plan on leveling. So if I plan on using a mainline weapon, so say for example I want to use a two-handed and I want to get that leveled up first, that is what I'm going to equip first, so that way I can begin leveling it. So, yeah. Then once I've done that, then I go and I find the nearest way shrine, and then I take that way shrine to Solitude. And uh, once we arrive at Solitude, we look for like a little dringle on the ground and then we whack it. So that way we can go ahead and unlock all of our weapon skills for that weapon skill line. Okay. Then what we do is we go inside Solitude, right? And we go over here to this way shrine and then we walk past it. Okay. And then there's this idiot right here. You talk to him and he'll give you fighter skill. Okay. And now he'll give you some XP and some gold. Then you go down the hill and then you go talk to this idiot. He gives you Mage's Guild, okay? Gives you some XP and gold. Then, you go over to this building right here, across from the Mage's Guild, and then you go inside. This is the Antiquarian's place, and no, listen. No, just watch, okay? You talk to this lady right here. She wants you to touch this stone, and once you touch this stone, you'll have, like, magic powers or something. And then, you talk to her again, spam some X, she'll give you Scrying Skill Line, and then you keep mashing X and interact with her, and then she'll tell you to go talk to some guy in the basement or whatever. But before you go and talk to the guy in the basement, there are some bookshelves that you want to pick up. If you didn't know, if you read a bookshelf, it can give you a random level for a skill line that you either know or don't know. It just gives you a random level, and also sometimes they can have lore books, so you just picked up Mage's Guild, so it's just like always read bookshelves is what i'm saying okay there's two here and then there's an entire library upstairs that you can use and that's that's normally where i go and then after i'm done reading all the bookshelves i go to the basement and talk to the idiot and uh you just scry there once you do that all right 
Then you go outside and then you dig. Okay, and then you, you listen. You just follow the you just follow this quest through to the end where you gotta go talk to the lady upstairs. And then once you're done with that, that should put you at level four. And what we do with that singular skill point is we put it into our first weapon skill or whatever weapon skill that we just want to use because sometimes you'll be at like listen okay so once you have that and your bar has each of your class skills and one weapon skill then we take the way shrine back and we go over to Auradon. normally from here i pull out my banker and i go over to the guy and buy some mount speed so i can go ahead and start that and yeah next what we do is we go over to this building right here this building basically um look it's the bank okay you can walk by you can talk to lady take stuff out if you need to select training gear if you want and then we go past her okay into this room and then there are more bookshelves so we read these bookshelves and then we turn around and we go over to this side right then we go up the stairs and then there's more bookshelves we read these bookshelves then we go here more bookshelves okay a few more bookshelves then we go out this door right here and in and out this door is a sky shard so we pick that up okay now uh, we've picked up the sky shard we jump off the edge and break our legs and then we go over to the mages guild in Aradon. and then guess what we do now we read every single bookshelf in the mages guild okay and then we get a bunch of free skills and level them up okay so that's what we do once we're done getting every single bookshelf in the mages guild we hop down and then we go over here to this guy right here he sells you bag space so that way you don't have to be poor and not have any space in your bag but look you can you can buy from him if you pick up gold from the bank or whatever but normally i max it out to about a hundred slots so that way i can actually carry things and then once we are done with that we go to the dolmen that is behind volkel guard and once we are here we continue on this route this route takes us along the path that I normally take to map every single dolmen in Aradon so we can do some anchor hopping, but also along this path are two more sky shards and a bunch of lore books, so that way, normally when I finish getting all the way to the top of Aradon, I have level 2 mages guild and I have another skill point from sky shards. So that is why we followed this little path here. So I'll just speed it up so you guys, uh, you know, you can have a general idea of the run that I normally make. We run here, okay, once we get up to this point. There is a, uh, you know, there's a Mundus Stone here that we go and we interact with. This is the lover, and, uh, well, you just have a Mundus Stone now, so good for you. And then you go over here, you pick up this lore book, and then you go up here to this way shrine, and then you hop down, and there's a Sky Shard, okay? And then you interact with the Sky Shard, duh, okay, listen, and then once you're done with that, you, you go here, okay, and then you go up here, and then you take a peep inside this building, and then there's a Sky Shard on these stairs, uh, you, so you get that. Once we get this Sky Shard, then I pick a second class ability that I want to slot, and I pick this based off of which ability I want to have, uh, you know, I want to get as soon as possible. And if you didn't know, um, I do this because the more abilities you have slotted of a specific type of, you know, class skill line, the faster that skill line levels. This only applies to class skill lines and weapon skill lines, though, so don't think you can slot vampire abilities and make that level faster. It doesn't work like that. But anyways, um, for this, um, since we're Nightblade, I want to get to spec bow as soon as possible, so I'm going to put on teleport strike so that way I can get more XP for that skill line. And then we don't have much further to go. You just basically follow the path all the way up to the very top of the map. And then you have everything that you need. Okay, once all this is done, um, normally I go and I empty my inventory and stuff. And then I begin to anchor hopping. So how anchor hopping works is basically the dolmens are on a timer. And we're farming each of these individually. So only one dolmen is going to be active in each zone at a time. So we use this knowledge to our advantage to make sure that we are at each dolmen while it is active. So that way we can get the rewards that we get for completing it. Which is our fighters guild and experience. Also you get some jewelry from completing it when you open a little chest. And you get so much jewelry doing this method that uh, you'll be like level 50 jewelry crafting in like literally no time. So I mean there is that. Some people call this dolmen farming because they do stuff in Alakir Desert. Personally, I prefer Aradon over Alakir. Alakir is a bit too crowded for me. I don't enjoy it as much as I enjoy the Aradon farm. But uh, yeah, that's what we do. We just make sure that we are at each anchor. So, basically, right, we mapped all these way shrines. And each of these way shrines is really close to these anchors. So what we do is once one anchor ends, we run over to the nearest way shrine. And use that way shrine to travel to a new anchor, which is the next active anchor. And in Aradon, it goes from bottom, middle, to top. So you can easily find out which rotation it's going once you have settled on which anchor is currently active. Which you can do, by the way, by looking for cross swords over the little swirly icon. So let's say it's the bottom, right? Now we're going to go to the middle. Okay, so then we run around this rock here and then we kill all the idiots here at the thing. 
loot the chest, and then for this one, we can jump over this little crevice in the rock here so that way we can speed run our way to the way shrine. You can't come in this way because the ledge is a bit too high to jump through, so you just walk around the rock instead. Then you go to the top, and then uh, you just kill all the gringles there, and then you repeat. And you just do this over and over again while you listen to some good Spotify music and uh, eventually you'll hit level 50. Sometimes Spotify is not going to be enough and you will end up getting bored. And some other things I would recommend that you go and do is go complete your daily battleground for below 50. Don't hang around too long because you really don't want to deal with Smurfs and suffer more than you have to. So don't give them the benefit of boosting their ego. Instead, go be more productive and just continue to do anchor hopping. Or you could do the next activity, which is doing the main quest. Obviously, doing the main quest gives you a bunch of experience and a bunch of skill points and you'll probably come around to doing this sooner or later simply because once you hit level 50 you'll be in need of some skill points and the best way to do that is to do the main quest. And the other thing I would recommend doing is also going around and getting all the Sky Shards on the Starter Islands. Since they're extremely easy to get to, you wouldn't have a hard time trying to get to any of them so you can go ahead and knock those out and what that's like five free skill points or something so and yeah at the end of this uh this should take you about like two days if you're really on top of it you got good gear and you have a scroll active this shouldn't take more than two days to do um and also by the end of it you'll have max level fighters guild you'll be like mages guild level two you'll have a bunch of skill points and uh you know you'll probably have jewelry crafting max as well and you will have a character that is 50 so yeah sounds like a good deal to me and I think that's all there is to know about this. The hardest part of this is formulating this kind of strategy so that way you can get a character to 50 um, by yourself. If you don't have someone to carry you through Black Rose or do something like that, this is what I use and it definitely works. It's worked for so long and it hasn't changed and now you guys know what to do. So, if you're still watching the video by this point, then that means you enjoyed the video and therefore you have to subscribe. Listen, I don't make the rules, okay? It is what it is. You have to subscribe, okay? And if you haven't joined the Discord, you also have to join the Discord, okay? If you don't have a Discord account, make one and then join, okay? Listen. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about this method or you just have questions about leveling in general, do not hesitate to put it in the comments. I will do my best to answer them. And if you have even bigger questions, you have to join the Discord so I can answer them, okay? It is what it is. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I've been me, and I've made this video, and hopefully it has helped you guys out, or it has helped someone out, and my job is done. Have a good night.